And we're back! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are back with episode two of uh, Casvel vs. Kotor. Just gonna load my save here and um, time to show you what I did because now I am a horrible, horrible monster. Look at that. First off, just under 10 grand in med packs. Uh, stats are ridiculous. I couldn't put my my health any higher than 50. Um, don't know why, but that's not a problem. But yeah, look at all that. Look at my look at my skills. My skills are all all that 99, and with whatever bonus for having uh, a related attribute that is just as jacked. So let's go kill some stuff. Try and breeze through the rest of this. I just, I just one shot things. It's kind of fun. Shut up, Trask. No one likes you. I should level up. Not that it would do anything. I'm not allowed to put any of these higher because the uh, highest skill I can have is my current level plus three divided by two. Um, which honestly is, um, it's odd. Uh, we're also going to give me, where'd it go? Flurry? Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Um, that way I can kill things faster. Well then. Something behind here. I wonder what it could be. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. And your noble sacrifice is maybe in vain. Because I mean, we never find out what happens to that dark Jedi. So. Though he looks incredibly similar to every other dark Jedi you find, almost. Well, every other higher-ranking Dark Jedi. They this is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire. I'm gonna skip uh, this as well because while you're on the Endar Spire, Karth still talks to you like you're in the tutorial. Uh, also, I gave myself about a thousand frag grenades because I'm a jerk. That also didn't kill him like it was supposed to, so I'm a little upset. Bodies lootable. They're not. That's upsetting. Sometimes doors will have health, and you have to actually keep them open if you don't have the security skill for it. I mean, that's not gonna be a problem with me. But be careful. You could, or you he's basically teaching me how to go through and hack terminals at this point. Um, whereas I'm only interested in the loot stuff. Because there's the parts that I would need to hack it, or spikes that I can use to bypass the hack system. Uh, I gave myself a cubic buttload of those as well. Um, I'm just gonna go right in and skip that tutorial. Because my, um, my computer use is technically 127. Uh, that's saying 4 and 6 because I have a lot. Um, this. See, it makes sense if you kill the three guys closest to the conduit, but the two guys in the bag is just makes no sense. I'm just gonna just double check my inventory that I actually do have. Um, a cube. Yeah, I have a thousand. Uh, that's why I was saying zero four. Okay, zero six. Do 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 do. Give me your stuff that I maybe don't need. I mean, I could have just gone in and killed them. It wanted me to do the computer junk, so I did the computer junk. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Me? I'm a soldier with Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. That's the. 
See, it's funny that um, Karth ex uh, expects you to trust him when he doesn't trust you. And I suppose the cutscene graphics aren't bad, especially for 2003. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Um. Yeah, let's not tell this guy who I don't even know about my strange visions. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site. You were hurt, but I wasn't, so who cares? Apartment. By the time Jerk. the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand you a remarkable number of alien really languages. Happens. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Um... So, the the raw recruit thing he was talking about. Each of the three classes has uh, a given backstory, and the one for the scoundrel is the absolute worst. Um, I skipped through Trask talking about it to save on time. Essentially, the Republic could not catch you because you were a smuggler, um, so they hired you. That makes sense. Yeah, we can't catch him, but we can definitely get him to join us. Um, for your sake, I will, uh, let's just, you know what, no, let's skip, uh, talking let's about Bastila. More damage than I thought. He gives Bastila's the fluff on it anyway. Jedi. She was with the a lot of expositing. That killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed out here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Alright, cool. So we gotta go find Basila. Um, I'm gonna try and not be argumentative, um, at least about, you know, doing the mission. There are gonna be th some things that I am gonna vehemently disagree with Karth about later on. So... Mm. Uh, any idea where we should start, just to get this going faster. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Cool. Um, the sooner we start looking for her, the sooner we find her. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. And wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything they stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, no. they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out.
Well, I mean, if Darth Malak was down here, he'd, he'd definitely see a problem. But, you know. Right, you alien scum. Oh, yeah. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. There's a lot of racism. There's a lot of racism. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! How do you know? set alien dialects um, and there's about maybe four lines on each one uh, so you will hear a lot of the same uh, alien dialogue over and over and over oh I leveled up uh, uh, skills yes well we're gonna have to wait a long time till I can use skills I get a free sneak attack buff Gonna secure no this problem. door here. Grab some Got extra it. XP. Uh, she's a target of an assassination attempt. Who are you? What are you or doing rather, in here? Bounty on her you head. can't just come barging into someone's home. Well, I just did actually. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments. Yeah. Just so. I, I don't. I'm going well, to I suppose basically is... get this bounty taken off her head. I doubt. That's one of the. I'll be going. Do, 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 do. All right. Goodbye Later, and good luck. So I actually forgot about this when I first did it. Uh, like I was saying in previous episode. Oh, uh, I don't care what your name is. No, I'm not gonna be a huge dick, but he charges an arm and a leg. And I am not buying from him. These guys don't talk. No problem. Got it. Do, do, do. She just gets upset that you walked in and is like, ah, don't kill me. And I'm like, no, I'm just here to rob you. Because this is essentially the first. Uh, oh, it's Cthulhu. No problem. <laughs> Got it. He also gets upset that you're in here to the point where he's just like, take what you want and go. Except it sounds funnier. Da, na, 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 nothing in here. I don't necessarily need all of this junk. No what I'm problem. doing in any way. Got it. Because you never know when you might need some spare parts. Or, um, yeah, spark parts, med pack. Um, I didn't give myself credits because that would be too easy. I'm just gonna flip on by here. That's my apartment. So now we're just gonna loop back around and leave. To the upper city. check my map which is not helpful at all but is that our escape pod all right i mean i can roll with that oh look at his hair that's like i, I know it's just due to graphics at the time but that's immaculate hair yes what's on your mind 
I want to know more about you. I mean, I don't, but it helps progress things. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Brutal. He has a big chip on his shoulder, and he doesn't trust anyone. Which is like I was saying earlier, he, uh, it's funny because he expects you to trust him. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. <laughs> this is funny because it is my fault. But let's, you know, not play it like I know what's going on. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. Well, I'm more used, used to taking to it, action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Baby. Where, where? My planet got blown up. Where? She's neat. Um. Like names like that make me question. Hello who, there. I haven't seen you in my shop what? before. George Lucas Allow was me on. to introduce you. Look at mostly the Sith confiscated all. They jacked her stuff. Otherwise, she'd have a really good selection. Um, you sadly never get to see it. Yeah. Oh, that's nine hundred. I'm gonna buy that for the sole reason of it's so unique that I think I need it. Um, and then I'm gonna sell some stuff to get some armor. Oh, I guess it, the max you can have in one stack is 9,609. Whoops. So let's sell that 99. because I want this stuff. It's light armor, it's got a good defense bonus, and it's got a decent dex cap. So I'm buy that. It's nice though because it's like this costs more than 150 bucks. Are you sure you want it? I appreciate that. Um, it's trash, but it fits with me being red also. And it's just some of the best light armor. Uh, this is the upper cantina, I believe, which is where I need to be. I can security this for some reason. I don't understand why. Alright. So, avoid anyone in the first room, because they play that stupid Pazak card game. And this is how we progress. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't. She's a Sith officer. I'm off duty. Let's be nice to her. I'm actually a little surprised. Um. That's true. But people, you know. It... Uh, basically, exactly. you pretty... sweet talk her. She invites you to a party. Uh, I'd re uh where people don't even don't have locked up their uniforms yet. Oh no! Let's let's stay out of there. Where's the room I'm looking for? I'm gonna go beat people up. I can't believe we could. Uh, They're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. The view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for you your viewing to and gambling. Fight. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're Gerland ready fingers. to roll. Got two his fingers In this off. corner, I oh, give oh. you. Girl on two fingers, and over here, he should be the Skywalker from the yet again is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan.
This is sad. He dropped his blaster. Like, old oh man, you shouldn't be fighting. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. Like, he's unless he's consistently As usual, our medics will have him up and about in um, a bit. Like, and well, he's taking that was quick, purpose. wasn't it? It makes no sense for him to keep doing this. Alright, so now that I'm busted, um, I'm gonna talk to this hut, who is, uh, just as nasty as you think. I want more than 10%. Okay, even with, like, 127 charisma, I can't. Yeah, shut up, Kurt. Your opinion doesn't matter here, I'm doing this for money and Ladies and gentlemen! Draw your eyes to the center. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he has to he's be after to take fresh the ball. And in it's the, the other corner, a that relative sense. newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. Which is partly true. The amnesia is strong with this one. Kicked him in the face and he dropped. It's over, but so they don't take me seriously because I beat the guy who always loses. <laughs> Shut up! Let me fight. So essentially, I'm doing this. Um, there's a Mandalorian guy at the end of all this who challenges you to a death match. He's like the reigning champion. Up. Even a disfiguring um, injury you couldn't get a very here. good blaster off it. It's the second best hand blaster in the game, Karth's being the first. And with that, you can essentially make Karth super duper busted. It's over! There's just gonna be a big pile of people um, who are holding their sides, because for some reason that's what you do when your overall health has Ladies and low. gentlemen, draw your over in this corner. A woman with steel. The very first time I tried to record this one wasn't paying attention to all the problems She's I was having. I got stuck on ice. And that's when I decided corner, I'm gonna use the save editor. Because otherwise I was having no luck fighting her. Yeah, look at that. It's over! I... Kinda looks like I have a hood. Doesn't it? Look at that. That is a hood. At least this hut is an honest hut. Marl. I think this Ladies is another old and guy. He's a legend in the yep. sport. A 20 year veteran a who still knows blade. how to show the young kids, but there's always. I'm just using a long sword as the funny part. I'm not even using a vibro blade. Oh. Well, I remain untouched. It's over. Marl Twitch is waiting in the wings. I can't remember what race they're called, um, but essentially I'm gonna go fight Greedo next. And it's not gonna be who shot first because I don't shoot people. I've beaten almost everyone, but I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Apparently he's crazy. Whatever. Ladies, at hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn well, duelist in the- eat. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion like down, no dirt not in the- Actually. Well, looks like he's just gonna- <laughs> Yup, he just took one. It's Give me a shot off. The fight is Twitch's reign of terror. And then they talk to me about uh, a death match with a Mandalorian dude. I think. Powers. 
Okay, so he basically eggs me on to, um, to go fight this guy, Bendak Starkiller. It's kind of funny uh, about that name because that name was originally, uh, Luke Skywalker was originally like Luke Starkiller. Yeah, here he is. And then they used the name Starkiller in The Force Unleashed. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion. But I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing. I'm, I'm a fighter. Finally, I, I, fresh. I, guys, I sure will set it up. Do it. Go talk to him. It will it. take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. Cool. I'm going to just go talk to the guy and we're going to make this happen. I think I can just leave the cantina and come back in. Because I want to get this all over with. I don't want to like have to come back here after doing something else. An illegal deathmatch. What happens if I security it? No problem. Got it. All right. Makes no sense because the door was open anyway, but because I have to go to the undercity, like the lower city, then the undercity, and go get Bastille and all that stuff. So I don't know if. Uh... <laughs> Cool. Let's go kill my first Mandalorian. Ladies and armor. gentlemen, come with me now. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been out in this corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Dark side points gained. Whatever. Two attacks undo it. Oh my god, I finally took a hit. Oh, he goes for a power attack. I got this. I got this. Can I loot him? Can I loot him? Bendak is down! It's over! It's over! The fight is over! Bendak Starkiller is down! Bendak Starkiller is dead! Oh, hail the mysterious stranger! Yeah, no big deal. Just come in, sweep your dueling team, murder the guy who... That's just... That's no big deal. Man, how do we get his gun? Credits plus a gun. Nice. Alright, so that's basically all of the actual business that we have in here. So I'm gonna go. We're gonna. Uh... There's one more place that I would go before going down uh, and getting that Sith armor to go down to the lower city. Uh, but I'm gonna take care of that next time. Uh, I think it's probably best that I call this for now. Um, but thank you so much for dropping by and taking a look at our uh, our Let's Plays. If you want to see more of Eli Plank's spooky, scary stuff, uh, go ahead and check out this corner here. If you want to see Fisk playing more Hearthstone, check out this corner here. And if you want to go check out Momo's original channel, please check out this here. And eventually we'll get her playing something on this channel as well. But thanks so much again. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. Episode 2 You live on Avenue Q You live on Avenue Q Your friends do too You who are 22
do and you live on Avenue Q. You live on Avenue Q. You live on Avenue Q. Editing this is gonna be fun. <laughs>